Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's me, you know, um, Mitch. I'm your host, Mitch. Hey Mitch! We made it. It's the grand finale of season three of Secret Society of Fly Tires. I have had a comment or two from random confused listeners asking specifically for some sort of explanation. I know that real podcasts do that. They do things like say the host's real name every episode. They keep the topic of the episode as a focus and don't stray too far from it. They might even recap the previous episode. They do what they can to inform new listeners of where they ended up in podcast land. I choose not to do those things and instead I immediately test my listeners with usually unrelated vulgarities. And you might be surprised to hear that for the first time, someone called me out on it. It wasn't a listener either. It was someone who I've wanted to interview for a long time, and I finally reached out to them. Hey, I just tried to listen to the last podcast episode, episode 34, East Walker River with Todd Pond, and there was a vulgar commercial about dicks and bongs, and I thought that was really distasteful. WTF is that all about? Anyways, what do I really expect from people that tune into what they think is a podcast about some river they're interested in, only to be met with a commercial about smokable erectile dysfunction pills? Who even comes up with something so stupid? Me. Most people should turn it off right away. I seriously don't blame them. The show has changed a lot since I started, and it's going to keep evolving. I should probably update my little show description mini episode thing, episode zero that I called initiation and recorded before I even finished my first full episode. Let me take a crack at a new one right now. The Secret Society of Fly Tires is little more than a half nude, fully inebriated man who records his thoughtless ramblings into a stolen microphone while hiding in his garage or car. My wife and children hate my guts, so they encourage my podcasting to get me out of their hair for a few hours at a time. Hey, this show is really the only thing keeping my family together at this point. If I didn't have this show to busy myself with, there is no telling what awful things might have happened. They say that idle hands are the devil's workshop, and that is doubly true in my case. Without the writing and interviewing and editing of this show, I have no doubt that there would be a penitentiary or a graveyard coming up for me real quick. Okay, he might be right. This might sound like a joke or an exaggeration, but it isn't. I hate everything, and I feel sick all the time. I'm so sweaty right now, and I feel like punching everything. Sometimes I'm thankful that my car doesn't work, because I would drive it into a tree for sure. But I keep going, because I know all of you listeners need me. I'm doing this as an act of selflessness, really. Yeah, making this podcast keeps me at least partially sane, but I can't even begin to comprehend the horrible things all of you would be doing if it weren't for the art that I give you for free. I know I'm on edge, I know I make bad decisions, but it's nothing compared to you freaks. I've gotten messages from some of you, and I can tell within the first few words that you are out of your minds in a way that is truly terrifying. That's the worm saying this stuff about you, not me. I'm a big, tough, strong guy, and not much scares me, but you people do. Knowing that you're out there in this world without your hands and feet shackled together makes me lose sleep at night. You're all monsters, and I hope the law catches up with you soon. Although in many ways that does capture the spirit of this program pretty spot on, it's kind of mean-spirited. I don't think all of you are that crazy, only some of you. But who am I to judge? I watch videos of people shape-shifting into lizards in most of my spare time, and it's been proven and documented forever on this show that I offend people that I admire. Have I even told you what the topic of this episode is? I guess it's labeled on the podcast and in the trailer I posted, so you saw it when you decided to listen, but I haven't uttered a single word about Pyramid Lake yet. Pyramid Lake is a really cool place. It kind of feels like hanging out on the shores of another planet's ocean. I mean, it has two moons. I feel like I packed in a lot of info into this episode, and I'm sure I still left out a bunch of important stuff. Oh well. It wasn't meant to be totally comprehensive. I've only been there once, and this leaves you some facts to uncover yourselves once you end up en route to the great mysterious alkaline lake in Nevada. 